Hello everyone, so today we will be putting the Ordinary Foundation from The Ordinary and this is their coverage foundation. A high coverage creamy foundation that softens undesirable hues. Thing you'll realize that it's a plastic bottle and I was expecting it to be glass this foundation is also six dollars and it comes in a glass bottle it doesn't have a pump but I mean it's a glass bottle so I was kind of expecting it to come in a, a glass yeah. bottle as well but that's not a problem JP shut up <laughs> the whole big hoopla about this foundation is that it's supposed to be really high coverage and it's six dollars and ninety cents i got the shade 3.1 y something that i would like to note is that the camera that i use to film does have a sort of skin softening feature that you can't turn off once you're in video mode but when i zoom in to my face you will get to see all the pores and all the texture in real time i have textured skin i have like texture on my cheeks i have dark spots all over so we'll really get to see it put to work i'm going to use a primer that i think a lot of people are familiar with which is the smashbox photo finish primer and i have like a it's kind of sample size that i got from ipsy so the whole thing about this brand the ordinary is that they try to make skincare and makeup as simple as possible and as effective as possible so it's like the sort of sciencey brand they try to just give you the ingredients as raw as possible so that it would be in their opinion the most effective without having to put fragrance and fillers it took me about would I, would I say a month to get this foundation because the demand was so high and they did say on the website that within the first day of them releasing the foundation they got 250,000 people made a purchase so they obviously you would expect to wait a bit longer I had sort of an interesting experience kind of because everyone was raving that the foundation was six dollars and ninety cents but when I went on the website the foundation was eleven dollars and ninety cents so i still bought the foundation because i wanted to get it quick to review but then i messaged them and i was like why is the foundation so much more expensive for me as compared to everyone else and they said it's because because i'm not from america and i'm from trinidad that i am seeing the foundation in international usd prices which is why it was more expensive imperialism prices <laughs> And that was really strange because I shop on Sephora, I've bought on Wet n Wild Forever 21. Haven't we suffered enough? Ex Target. Haven't they taken enough from us? Mm hmm And no other website has ever charged me international Poverty US. tax. Our JP, please, oh gosh. <laughs> no other website has ever charged me international USD prices, so that was strange and I messaged them and I was like that's kind of unfair because it's not like I'm paying I'm paying in US dollars I'm not paying in TT it's my dollar being depreciated because I'm sending it all over the world it's not the other way around so there really was no reason for that but they said that's how it is and I was like okay well I want to issue a refund because then I could just get a friend to buy it for me at the six dollars and ninety cents price and to issue a refund on that website you have to send them an email and now they were really busy so to send an email and no way. I didn't really like that because like I feel like other, like Amazon you could cancel it and you you know they will start to process it automatically and I mean the CM is not like a indie brand or anything I didn't really like that so that was just my personal experience with the CM and the ordinary and I don't like being victimized for not being we from suffer enough yes to take enough mm -hmm. slavery amen I don't like being victimized for not being a US citizen Caribbean lives matter Caribbean lives matter okay so I have done this side of my face I used exactly one pump for this side I'm getting like light to medium coverage let me zoom in because when I zoom in the filter will no longer really soften my skin you can see this is my face and I have a lot of dark spots and I have equally the same amount on this side but it's covered my forehead is okay there's some spots there 
but that is one pump. Other times that I've worn this foundation, which was like two or three times, I really only got oily right in this area right here, but it wasn't any like crazy sort of oiliness. It wasn't separating or sinking into any fine lines, so I'd say it did a pretty good job. The better shade for me would have been 3.0Y rather than 3.1Y. It does not dry down as fast and as matte as let's say the l'oreal pro matte foundation it's more like a a pretty natural finish so you can see this is this side and it covered most things except this spot right here which is always the hardest to cover so i'm gonna put i put a little bit extra and i'm still using that one pump that i put on my hand you could probably make one pump work for your whole face but i need coverage here we have the face well the foundation done i'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera i'll be back we'll set a starting point and then we are going to test out this foundation versus the sun or versus the rain because it's that time of year where the weather is just doing what it wants and it rains and then it's hot and then it rains okay so i finished the rest of my makeup and things got a bit dramatic but it happens um if i didn't say it before the foundation is the standard one fluid ounce and i didn't show you the packaging close up but as you could see it's simple you see the color of the foundation here you get uh the top is like a almost like a it feels like felt like matte felt and then the bottle is like a nice it's a nice plastic bottle i guess nothing fancy everything that i've used it will be in the description bar but i think that the most important thing is that i used um sasha's buttercup powder to set the entirety of my face and i think that would be the only other thing that might assist the foundation but i mean it applied nicely it laid nicely products went on it nicely there it's just a standard good foundation i don't know if i would buy it again only because i think it's pretty similar to the maybelline fit me the maybelline is probably a bit more matte but i mean i could get the maybelline locally for 60 something dollars i could get this foundation for six dollars and ninety cents six six is a 36 but then by the time i pay shipping which is like 40 dollars when i pay to clear it which is about 40 tt it's 70 something dollars you know so i'm not sure if i'd buy it again but however i do want to tr start using products from the ordinary because i've heard really good things about their products and they have this acid peel that should help me if i happen to like other products from desiem you know i wouldn't mind slipping this in so it's not something that i'll run away from but not something that i'll run to it is 11 oh one a.m so it's hot rain is falling the sun is going to come out again i will be back at the end of the day to show you how the foundation held up right, so you can see texture the dark marks are not really showing that much but my skin looks it's not cakey whatsoever and it still looks really natural and holy crap. Jean. Jean, would you like to say that? Put down the record. Put the record, so follow me. is now 4 13 4 13 p.m so it's been about five hours as you can see my face is just overall glowy but it's not like greasy it's not sinking into any fine lines at all which is really impressive because 
a lot of foundations tend to sink into all my fine lines it hasn't sink, sunk into any of my fine lines which i think is like the most impressive part but overall it's kind of working like a regular foundation a regular good foundation so this is how it looks close up it's not getting weird on my chin nothing getting weird where my pores are the biggest which are here it's not sinking into any lines whatsoever so, so the time is now 6 17 so it's been seven hours i think that's a pretty good test of wear time for this foundation i don't think it's going to get any better or worse from this point similar to earlier my face now just has a really overall glow and the most impressive thing about it is that I've been very expressive I've been laughing and talking and eating and it still has not sunk into any of my fine lines which a lot of other foundations do it is more pigmented I think than the wet and wild which is around a similar price range so it is something to try you know maybe if a Maybelline fit me does not work for you this might be something similar around the same price range with a bit more a bit more buildability in terms of coverage so i hope you guys enjoyed this review don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reviews more makeup looks and i have some like skits and stuff planned as well so stay tuned for that thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye